Hey, welcome to 1001 True Fans. How to build an audience starting from zero. Zero fans, zero followers, zero list, and zero customers. This course is called 1001 True Fans. It means this is not about getting millions of fans or millions of customers. It's not even about getting hundreds of thousands of fans or followers or buyers. It is about 1000 true fans. And in all of the businesses I have conducted, along with my wife over 22 years, I don't think we have even touched 50,000 customers in total, all businesses put together in 22 years, in all of those years combined. In fact, as I'm going to talk about in a minute here, when my wife, Veena Prashant, who is also the co-founder and co-developer of digitalaccesspass.com and creator of smartpaycart.com, when we both decided to quit our lucrative full-time jobs in New York in 2009, and moved to San Diego in 2010, we probably had between 500 to 700 customers at the time. And they were not even paying monthly, just one-time buyers. So yes, we took a huge risk, but just know that even just hundreds of customers helped us build an amazing life as full-time entrepreneurs, working from home, having the freedom to do what we want, when we want, being there when our kids got back from school, which they didn't always necessarily love, and being able to do everything on our timeline. And I have built audiences for my products and services way before creation of social media and continue to do so in today's age of all social media. Now, imagine you are Hugh Jackman or your favorite female celebrity. I'm such a huge fan of Hugh, get it? So imagine you're Hugh Jackman who has a new movie coming out. So what are some of the things you would do at his level of celebrity? You probably go as a guest on other people's shows. That's the first thing you do. A lot of shows, TV shows, podcasts, Comic-Con. And you try to reach OPA, other people's audiences. So here's what Hugh Jackman will not do when trying to promote a new movie. He is not going to sit and think, Hmm, let me see. I have to promote my new movie and I need an audience to be able to promote it to. So maybe I should start my own TV show. Maybe I should start my own podcast. Maybe I should start my own YouTube channel. Maybe I should start building an email list. Maybe I should start a Facebook group. So yeah, that's the same level of irrelevant, ridiculous advice that you'll get sometimes online if you just ask how to promote your stuff because those are all out of context. Start a podcast, start a YouTube channel, start a blog, buy paid ads on Facebook. Sure, they are all possible ideas that are obviously included in my course and I talk about them a lot, but there are levels and tiers to doing this. There is a progression to do, doing this. There are short-term and mid-term and long-term things. And this course is going to break it down in the simplest and most impactful way possible and show you how it can be done. And it also shows you how I did it myself. I'm a huge fan of Kevin Kelly's 1000 True Fans concept. And I'll also explain why I added the one at the end of you know, 1000 True Fans and made it 1001. But first, here's a quote from his article. To be a successful creator, you don't need millions. You don't need millions of dollars or millions of customers, millions of clients or millions of fans. To make a living as a craftsperson, photographer, musician, designer, author, animator, app maker, entrepreneur, or inventor, you only need thousands of true fans. Okay, you get the idea, right? Back to me, Ravi. What a fantastic concept. You don't need millions of anything. Find your 1,000 true fans, sell them products and services worth, say, $100 a year, and you make 100 k It is a mind-bending concept that completely flips the I will be successful when I get millions of fans or customers or users idea on its head. And I'm actually living proof that this concept works. Back when we launched Digital Access Pass in 2008, our list was actually 1,300 people in total, of which probably less than 200 people were actually active because that list was built since 2000. And by the time 2008 came around, you can imagine how many of those emails were probably bad, non-existent, or just plain expired. So with that small list of less than 200 people, we were able to get about five sales in the first weekend of the launch. We reached about 100 buyers in total in the first year. Then fast forward to 2009, I was still working at a job in Manhattan. My wife was still working at her job. 
and around that time she was looking for a change at her job so we decided to start working together on dap and dap sales near instantly grew 1000% yes 10x over the next year because she took control of the business like a superstar takes over a game when it gets close and she was developing new features fixing bugs and helping customers super fast and about 8 months later dap had grown big enough that i too could quit my own job and encouraged by dap's growth and potential we sold our house in ossining new york and moved to san diego and the rest as they say is history so here's the main point vina and i quit really lucrative high paying jobs and dap was way short of 1000 users at the time i'm not even making it up we were able to afford a really nice living with way fewer than 1000 paying customers and back then we weren't even charging a recurring subscription these were all one time payments so there were no repeat customers just one time purchases so dap was launched with a small and lousy list of 1300 mostly bad and inactive emails it has grown into a huge business that provides me and my family with a very blessed life which is why i continue to harp on this one point you don't need millions of customers millions of downloads millions of listeners millions of website visits millions of facebook page likes millions of email subscribers nothing you can do really really well with just 1000 true fans but guess what How are you going to get those 1000 true fans? That's what not many people are going to tell you, right? Kevin Kelly's article doesn't exactly tell you how to go about getting 1000 true fans and definitely not how you do it in today's age of social media and such limited short attention spans an era in which everybody has a webinar, everybody has a lead magnet, everybody has an article, everybody is an expert. So how the heck do you even get thousand regular fans leave alone 1000 true fans and the biggest problem with most books and courses today is that no one is really teaching how to build an audience from scratch so how are you going to get your first 100 fans or even your first 10 fans how do you get the ball rolling when you don't even have a ball to begin with if you go into any facebook group and ask them say how to promote your podcast or youtube channel you will get a lot of the same old same old replies post a link on facebook post a link on twitter post a snippet on youtube and instagram and blah 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 and if you don't have an existing audience on any of those platforms that's like yelling out the name of your podcast or website from your living room there ain't no one there to hear what you're saying and on the flip side if you ask how to generate leads for your business or your online course you'll get a lot of blah kind of advice so somebody who is super into podcasting will tell you you should also start a podcast if you want leads or somebody who's a youtube creator will tell you that you too need to start a youtube channel or a blog now these are great things for the long term and they're all in my spreadsheet and in my mind map and i have mapped out things for you to do when it comes to these things but for the short term starting a podcast or youtube channel for building an audience is not a good idea because that is the equivalent of planting a tree in your backyard and if you want food in 3 months or 6 months or a year from now that's great but what if you need to put food on the table today and tomorrow and next week next month so a lot of advice you will get in many online communities and from many quote unquote gurus is usually very blah or downright bad or just so skewed based on the one channel they may have found success in based on something they have been doing for a long time So what worked for them will probably not work for you which is why you need to take a very very specific set of action steps in order to build your audience you just can't spray and pray especially when you're spraying into an empty hall so what if you have zero audience zero subscribers zero followers zero customers when i launched my first website on a shared website platform called tripod.com back in 1995 I had no audience. In fact, I barely knew how to code a website. When I launched my first website in 1997 about Indian baby names at babynamesindia.com, I had no audience. And I was living in India at the time and I only came to the US in the year 2000. When I launched my first PHP scripts website in 2000, where I created the world's first ever download protector for PayPal and ClickBank for selling ebooks, I had no audience. When we launched Dapp in 2008, we did have an audience, but a pretty slim one. 
So if I, an immigrant from India, who moved to the U.S. with his wife and one-year-old daughter and his father-in-law and had to work for nine years just to get a green card, just so I can have the freedom to start a full-fledged business and finally quit my job, if I can do it, then you can do it too. Kevin Kelly wrote the article 1,000 True Fans in 2008, but I've been using the concept, the same concept, going back to 10 years before that. I still remember back in 2001, when I was still working on mywebmasterinabox.com, which is my PHP scripts website, my password for one of the servers at the time, I made it as 1,000 copies. Yes, I wanted to be able to sell 1,000 copies of my PHP scripts. I knew that if I could sell 1,000 copies of my PHP scripts package, which was being sold for $97 at the time, I knew that's equal to $97,000. But I also knew that if I could sell 1,000 copies, that meant 1,000 customers, which means I could create more products and scripts and software for them, and I knew I could grow my business from there. And eventually, that website was what led to digitalaccesspass.com several years later. It could have easily been me who came up with the concept of 1,000 true fans, but I guess I wasn't smart enough to come up with the term, but Kevin Kelly did, so I'll give him credit for the three most impactful words in an entrepreneur's life. But it's not enough to just know the concept. You also know how to implement it. And everything I have done in my life over the past 22 years to build an audience is exactly what I'm going to be teaching you in this course. And that's why I added a one and called this course 1001 True Fans. One of the modules in the course is called the absolutely fastest way to build an email list from scratch without spending a penny on advertising, all done right on social media, and you don't even need a landing page or a website. I've created and perfected this one little ridiculously simple yet totally amazing tactic that will help you build a super targeted, laser-focused email list in a very short period of time. And I think just that one module alone is worth the price of this course. I also gave it a nickname, Superman Strategy, because it builds your email list quickly without ever needing a single person to visit your website, which means you don't have to worry about driving traffic to your website, so no sharing links on social media, which means your posts won't get buried by Facebook and will reach more of your friends because you didn't have any links in your post. It builds real relationships not just a nameless list, because you're connecting with your exact targeted audience, a potential follower, a fan, and hopefully a future buyer and true fan. This is laser-focused audience building at its best. It helps you create an invaluable asset for life that you can keep continuing to use forever and ever to build relationships and grow your audience. There's absolutely no limit to how much or how long you can do this. The more you execute on this tactic, the bigger your audience will become. This is infinitely scalable, and it doesn't even involve spending a penny on ads. But if you want to throw some fuel on the fire and can spend even a little bit of money on ads, you can really start snowballing your efforts and building momentum. Like Superman, you know, the more sunlight he's exposed to, the stronger he gets, right? The same way, the more you follow this tactic, the more powerful this tactic becomes. And you can use this on any social media platform, your own website, and even third-party websites. So whether you're looking to grow your audience from scratch, or you already have a small audience right now that you would like to grow further, I believe my course can help you. And I have a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. So you have absolutely nothing to lose and only a big audience to gain. Hope to see you on the other side. Cheers.